But just as soon as these people heard about God's people, that, you know, you what? You can't keep that stuff hid when God starts doing stuff like that. And they got word of it, and they got wind of it. And when they got wind of these people coming in, their courage would just, just, it was just gone, like you let the air out of a balloon. And they'd just go in and whip them up and beat them out and drive them out. And they owned the land. God was prospering them left and right, wasn't he? Praise God. I'm saying all this for a good reason, you know. <laughs> Amen. Because God is the God of the Bible. He's not just a, a, a word we use. He's not someone we just talk about from the pages of this book. He's God. Without him, they'd have no, we'd have no book. Are you here? It amazes me sometimes people try to prove that there's a God. You, prove? He don't need much help, does he? If he's moving he don't, and he's in a place where he has the liberty to move, he don't need no help. Proving that he's real. Sometimes us preachers has got it backwards. We think we have to prove stuff to people. There ain't nothing to prove, folks. God's real. All he has to do is just touch you. Just touch you. He can take the biggest critic in the world and the power of God fall on him. He'll be a believer here just in a few seconds. He'll get up and say, I don't know what happened, but I know this is real, and I know this is right. That's because God touched you. And he went around your old ignorant mind and touched your heart. Praise God. I remember one time they made such a, a, an ado over that shroud. Oh, they, you know, they tested it. They'd get little pieces of that thing and they'd test it and see if it was real. And they proved, they one, some people said it was real, but then they let some other people test it. And there's credible people and they said it wasn't real. Oh, it tore them all to pieces. Why? What difference does that make? What difference does that make? Is that what you're holding on to? Is a thread of a piece of garment that supposedly was through over the Lord Jesus? Hey, what about the Lord Jesus? What about this risen Jesus? That's, that's who we believe in. We don't care about a shroud. That ain't to discredit that or to act like that's nothing. But you got it backwards. Amen. We're talking about a risen Jesus. Right. One that touches people, leads people, heals people. Said where two or three is gathered, I'll be in their midst. Amen. You don't need no proof. That's right. That's right. Praise God. That's good. God said, he's a rewarder. Right. Well... Just let him start rewarding you. You don't need no proof. Right. Oh, we think we might have found the grave of this one. Just, oh, if it, I'm sure they're all out there somewhere. See, I don't get that stuff. I don't get that stuff. Like, if we can just find a piece of the ark, we, we, we would have proof. Proof, it's in the book. I wouldn't care if you found the, found the whole ark and some of the animals still in it. It wouldn't make it no, it wouldn't matter to me. It's, I believe it because it's in here. And God spoke to a man called Noah and told him to build it and told him to go get a uh, uh, the, the certain kind of wood to build it with. Right. The dimensions to build it. Why, well, Noah wasn't no ship builder. But supernatural wisdom come to Noah. God said, build it like this. And as he began to work, wisdom come. He never built a ship in his life. Why would he? Praise God. What a testament to God Almighty. That's right. That's right. Praise God. Right. And then on that, on top of that, got all the animals to get on it. Yep. God was in that too, you know. Right. Why? 
It would take forever to try to go get two animals of every kind. You'd have to, back in that day, it wouldn't have happened, brother. <clears throat> you barely could have done it in this day when we got all of our other stuff. Darts, helicopters flying over, shooting them with darts and, you know, netting them up and carrying them in, putting them in the ark. And then you'd have had the office commotion there was when you had them in there. Praise God. We're going to have to get back to believing God. Believe in God just based on what God said because of who he is. Believe that God took Abraham and blessed him. Believe that God spoke to Abraham. Believe that Abraham did what God told him to do based on what's written in this book. Praise God. Believe that Jesus did these things he said. That Peter and John and Paul and all these did these things they said in this book. And then start believing the words of Jesus that says you can and we can. Quit basing it on a, a feeling or a, an emotion or, or basing it on some kind of other fact other than what God said. Right. Where, where have we got off at, you know? What kind of road do we get on? Huh? Huh? 